Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I've designed a 3D printed twisty puzzle with two sets of mechanisms or a hybrid twisty puzzle. Well this one is based off of two puzzles. The first one is the Rex cube which is a corner turning cube like this. And another one but first let me just show you the corner turns right there. Same turns as on that Rex cube. And there's also the turns of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, a classic Rubik's Cube, like this. And this, right there. Now, uh, first I want to show you uh, a bit of the mechanism because I found a new way to actually not use screws. Uh, so yeah, check this out. So in this core, what I did was try to include uh, centers that clip into the core, but instead of putting the clip on the centers, I put it directly inside the core because I have more space. So basically when this goes in there, then I, all I have to do is push it all the way down, and as you can see, it clips much better. There's almost no, um, no you know, extra tolerance in there. It's really great, and it's, uh, since it's, you know, longer, it's deeper inside the core, and not just the, the small length of that clip on the center, well, it's more flexible, and therefore, there's less chance that it's gonna break. So if I take, for example, another of those, uh, well, centers right there, this one, for example, I can do the same thing here. As you can see, it, it can expand much more on the sides. Let me see if I can find uh, something to show you this, uh, basically, this can move around much more. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Alright, there. You can move these parts around much more, and therefore they're much more flexible, leading to a more easily clippable part. And uh, I think that method works pretty well, to be honest. It's, uh, it seems to be quite nice. So I'm probably going to use it again from some, you know, puzzles after this one. So the thing is, with that mechanism, I think it's it does you know kind of feel non-adjustable in the sense that it shows that there are uh, no screws, and I think it's it's too bad that I don't have this springy feeling when I'm turning it because I still like that, and it, you know it causes a few lockups. So it was an interesting solution, uh, not the one I pick on a regular basis. But this thing, okay, it's it does lock up a bit, but when it turns, it's really smooth. It's it's very nice to turn, and if you hold it with the full palm, it actually does spin. Quite Quite well and doesn't lock up that often so it's actually okay and uh, yeah it's it's really um, I, I mean I like physically like aesthetically this design is really pleasing so that's really nice and I don't think it will be that hard to solve now the reason why I'm saying this is because well technically the edges and the um, these edges right there and these corners can be solved like a 3x3 um, here there's no orientation so it, they're basically dino cube corners, so the only thing you have to do is, at first, solve, um, well, the the edges and the corners, just like a 3x3, three three. so it's, it's actually quite easy. Or maybe there's another solution, actually I think I might go with the approach of using, you know, these edges and trying to pair them up with these two uh, Rex or Dino parts uh, before uh, solving the rest. So I think it's it's uh, an interesting twisty puzzle that might be quite fun to solve. If I get around to it, I'll maybe make a solving video, but I feel like it wouldn't really, you know, go with my channel anymore because I'm I'm not really that much into uh, solving stuff anymore. I'm I'm more into uh, you know the builds it themselves and not just Rubik's cubes. So um, so yeah, let me know what you think. I could still do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this puzzle as much as I do. I think it's uh, a really nice, uh, aesthetically pleasing design. Uh, there are some parts that are very thin though, and I feel like they could fall off quite easily. As you can see, they're very, very thin, and you could actually hurt yourself on this. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Feel free to subscribe. I uh, hope you'll uh, you know like my next videos as well. So yeah, stay tuned, and see you next time.